four on five. Both suck. Both are horrendous. But I will say the 10, I did have a mental breakdown and start crying that I was going to die in there. And I actually called him to say goodbye to him. Because I thought I was going to die in my car. So I was there for two and a half hours. Like what? Like which is worse? <laughs> the 10? Purely because it goes to cooler places like Santa Monica and downtown. I'm not a huge fan of Van Nuys and Long Beach. It's that point, that point when you're driving, not when you're in traffic, but when you're driving, and it's like right after you pass the 405 and the temperature drops like 10 degrees in the summertime as you head towards the beach. And it's like the most fabulous Southern California feeling out there. So, 10 all the way. I would say the 10 is pretty much better than the 405 for the very simple reason that it's two digits instead of three. That's the only reason why I like it. And uh, also, too, your traffic commute times are also in the two instead of three digits on the 10. Definitely the 10. I feel like the 405 is like the 10's side chick, you know? If you. You, you take the 405 when the 10 is not an option, which is pretty much rarely never. 405 is like the redheaded child. The 90. Four miles of blissful west side elite freeway, no traffic. You know what they say about the 405? Why do they call it the 405? Because it's going to take you four or five hours to get there. You got to go to the 405. So, you know, when I'm on it, it's six lanes. Yeah, it's backed up, but you just got to know when to go. I think the 405 is way. 405 is supposedly the worst interstate in the country. It is the worst. How can you beat that? It's already there. It's a fact. NPR says 405 is worse. I don't really, I can't really rant that well. I mean, it's a proven fact that they both kind of suck.